Now, on today's show, we're going to be discussing how to unlock the potential in your business. How do you go about doing that? Do you think you've got maybe a great idea that you're not getting the most out of? What's holding it back? Is it the brand? Is it the product? Is it your marketing? Is it your sales? Is it your people? Is it you? Well, how do you unlock that true potential? How do you find out maybe where you're going wrong and how do you move your business forward to make it more profitable? My guest on today's show is Sylvia Bulldog. She's a personal presence and team dynamics specialist. Um, well, I unlock the hidden potential in people, both individuals and teams, by helping people to recognize and play to their natural strengths, rather than being that proverbial jack of all trades that we're all brought up to be. So what I do is focus on, well, what are you good at? What are you naturally good at? And how can we enable you to spend more of your time doing what you're good at? Because that's where you will feel fired up, energized, in flow, and you'll be far more productive. I'm seeing that people are doing a job role as best as they can. I'm seeing people are running their own company as best as they can and juggling so many different things that they're not actually good at. In companies, people will take people on board because they're creative, for example. They'll get them into the role and then they'll say, oh, well, we'd actually like you to do this as well. And could you do some of the reporting? And can you do some research? And, and that person, again, has so little time actually being creative that they're not nearly as productive as they could be. And that's when people get demotivated because they don't feel valued. Everybody that I work with, I always profile first, whether it be an individual coaching client or a team, because then that it's, and can I just say at this stage, it's not about putting you in a box. It's not about labeling you and saying, oh, you're a creative profile, therefore you'll think and act in this way. It's about giving you a framework so you can look at the natural strengths of a creator profile, for example, let's use your example, and you can see where you sit there and what resonates with you. And then you can start to think about, well, how much of my time at work am I actually being creative? The trader in the middle at the bottom is very much in the thick of activity. They're the doers. Put them in charge of a project, give them a deadline, they'll get things done. They love an activity list, they love ticking things off, and they're really good at harmonizing a team. The mechanic profile is the fixer. So they are great problem solvers and great at finding the idea of the creator and finishing it because that's not your strength. And when we do this with a team, the discussion that often comes up is, um, oh, actually, I really struggle with that part of my role. I, I don't feel I'm good at it. It takes me ages to do. And there's something about having this profile in black and white that it makes the room almost like a confessional. And people go, well, it's there in black and white, so I might as well talk about it. So suddenly they'll own up to what they're struggling with. And the biggest feedback I get from CEOs and MDs is, I can't believe how much they shared. If, if, you, if you find out that you're not right for sales, then you shouldn't be doing sales. It's, it's a real good chance to look at what you're doing and decide where you need to be focusing your time and energy. 80% of workers in Britain are not playing to the strengths at work, 80%. Can you imagine the impact that has on their motivation, their productivity, and ultimately their profitability? So it's no wonder that absenteeism is high and that people job hop because they're not feeling engaged and they're not feeling valued. Yeah, I mean, it's very much about, first of all, finding out what is it that floats your boat? You know, what is it that's going to get you out of bed in the morning? What's going to make you jump out and think, oh, I'm so looking forward to today? And do more of it. So I'm Sylvia Baldock and I unlock the hidden potential in individuals and teams because I believe that each and every one of us only scratch the surface of our true potential. And beyond wherever you are now lies a depth of potential that would absolutely astound you. So what I'd ask you to do is to find where your strengths lie. And if you can afford it, take a profile test because it will change your life. And then play to those strengths. Engineer your life so you can spend more time doing the work you love to do and where you add most value and delegate out the tasks that you don't like. Life should not be hard work, life should be fun. So have fun. <laughs>